Okay. Maybe he'll walk up here. Maybe I'll be able to stab him or something. I wonder if this silenced handgun will do any good. I know it's not supposed to be as powerful, but it's definitely quieter. We'll give it a shot. I don't know if it, what's going to happen here. Oh, here he comes. Uh, hopefully the other... Oh, uh, crap. The other guy sees me, I think. So let's do this. Okay. Um... Yeah, busting out the shotgun. Got one? Okay. You're on your own, Torres. I gotta... <laughs> Damn it. The... I don't know if it's a smart idea to be shooting them when they're on fire, or if it's a better idea to wait till they're not on fire. <laughs> that was awesome. Blew me backwards. Oh, she's still fighting over there. Um, shit. Um, see, I don't know if that's doing any good or not. Oh, blew his arm off. Interesting. There we go. She's still alive, right? Oh, cool. I could get him back up. Thank you, Resident Evil 5. Damn, really? Is he going to come over here? Alright, maybe we could get these guys stealthily this time. Let's, uh... Let's see, I know there's a syringe over here, that's why I used the syringe just now. There we go. Well, Dane, that, that gun is definitely quiet, but it's probably better used against regular zombies, not these guys. Because I'm not even sure... Not even sure about the on fire part. Should I shoot them when they're on fire, or should I wait to shoot them bef uh, so that they don't have the hard skin? You know what I mean? Oh, is he just gonna keep his back towards me? I guess so. Sweet. Was that the last guy? I don't see anybody else, so that was probably the last guy. And, oh, that's right, her safe uh, base is over that way, but let's see if we can get over here first. Doesn't look like it, though. It's a big burning branch, you can't go past here. What are you, crazy? <laughs> I totally ditched her in the middle of that fight, that was funny. I need to get the distance though. You saw how that guy was just running up on me like crazy. And hey, I figured she could take care of herself because she's super gun ho and super professional military mercenary. Oh, hello. What's this? Hey, sniper rifle pouch. Right on. I can carry more sniper rifle ammo if I ever find any more. Guess I'll just have to make those on my own because I haven't been finding those at all. Well, let's see now. Are we gonna get jumped before we get in the safe house or are we pretty much safe? I take it that's it. It's not exactly inconspicuous either. 
Oh, sweet, there's an herb. I thought there might be something over here. And there goes the rest of the map. So they simulated an entire nature preserve. Well, that's one way to do it. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. Hey, I tried. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, same here. I tend to try to do it more stealth-like, but uh, didn't work out in my favor that time. There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. <laughs> Alright. I get in there. Jesus, that's a lot of explosives! Okay. So what are we going to do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him... Maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you gonna do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. Things are getting more complicated. Sebastian, where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill. It's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try to uh -oh. find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. So, Sebastian's learning how to be a little more smart in terms of uh, keeping information to himself and making sure he doesn't say the wrong things over the the intercom, or, you know, his little radio there. Got a feeling McNeil is in trouble. <laughs> yeah, might as well have some coffee, I guess, since we're here. Uh, yes. Yeah, that silenced pistol is uh, pretty useful, it just wasn't very useful. Oh, hello. Against those armored guys. The rock dudes. Oh, it's a bolt. Freeze bolt! This crossbow bolt will freeze enemies struck by it. Nice. So now we're running the, the full spectrum in terms of elements. Oh, we got a journal here. Oh, got interrupted there for a second. Oh, Taurus's journal. 
This journal is written in a neat, feminine hand. The most recent entry reads as follows. Not sure how long I've been waiting for Myra and Theodore to return. Time is sketchy. Time is a sketchy concept inside STEM. Even more so since Lily escaped. All I know is that they should have returned by now. If I die in here, I just wanted whoever finds this diary to know that I went in willingly. I did something a long time ago, something that I regret. And that's why I'm here now, waiting to take Lily out of here. This is my last chance at redemption and maybe a shot at starting my life over. Either way, I'm committed to this plan. I'll see it through to the end no matter what. But it's obvious something went wrong. If that's the case, I should keep an eye out for help, like Kidman told me to, but... This place is falling apart around me. I hope I can find him and if he gets sent inside. Oh, okay, so... She expected me, then. Hope you don't mind me reading your journal right in front of you, Torres, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. The plan. Or maybe I should bring up Kidman. It doesn't matter. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. True. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kidman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. Interesting, okay. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend. Until they stab you in the back. <laughs> One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from oh, okay. the main house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? <sighs> I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. Okay. So we got a little more context, I guess. They always say that. I knew that guy was slippery. But so it's like, why didn't you freaking say something? <laughs> uh, okay, so I think that pretty much covers it. Let's go ahead and save it. Yeah, interesting. I wonder if... Uh, I don't know, I'm not convinced that Myra is totally going to be an antagonist. I don't know. I keep going back and forth on that. Uh, is this the way out? A collapsed ladder. And a way up. Uh, uh huh. Oh, oh, right. 
this is where we came in. <laughs> now I remember. <laughs> Duh. And there was no, yeah, I couldn't break any crates in here, so. So I guess this is the way out. Oh, hello. Ah, of course. There's a mirror in the next room. Oh, nice. High-grade weapon parts. Now I can upgrade... something else to level 2. Alright, might as well. Alright, the, uh... The altar is gone. There's Kitty. Hello, Kitty. Everything seems back to normal. After all that. I think I got a slide, too, so let's see. Oh, no, I don't. That's right. I forgot I picked that one up. Okay. Alright, kitty. We already talked about that slide, so I'm moving on, I guess. She said she would drop something off in my office. And that's... Oh. Here's a slide right here. <laughs> Alright, now I do have a slide. Here we go. Some evidence against this guy. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. Crimson City, of course. St. Louis, Missouri. Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his M.O. Does this universe seem like a cruel and random place to you? Do you feel like the world is conspiring to distract you with shiny but unattainable baubles? Okay, it's just his... Just his sales pitch. Hmm. This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Silver-Tongued Angel or Guardian Devil by Daniel Block. October 10th, 2014, Crimson City. When you first meet motivational speaker, author, and spiritual Sherpa Theodore Wallace, his commanding presence and charisma are immediately apparent. His large, almost imposing stature contrasts with and complements his open and friendly face. It's this face that has graced the covers of a series of best-selling health self-help books and launched a series of so-called spiritual well-being oases known as Moose Centers. I think Oasis is spelled wrong there. But what lurks behind his friendly and benevolent demeanor? While some consider Wallace a guru, others, religious watchdogs, and most assertively family members of Moose Center con congregates, consider him nothing more than a modern day cult leader. Which he probably is. The bastard smooth talked himself right into the middle of the plan, just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. <laughs> Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> uh, Kidman, I've had a serious conversation with Myra. I am sympathetic to your cause, but I think that further steps can be taken that will solve your problem in more final terms. Meet us tonight at 10 outside the Crimson City Renaissance Theater and make sure no one is following you. Theodore. So, he got into the group through Myra, it sounds like. He must have sweet-talked her or something. Hmm. Okay, so I got a Fallout guy, a Doom guy, and a Wolfenstein the dog still. I wonder if I'm going to find anything else. Oh, well. Seems brighter in here. Does it, does it seem brighter in here to everybody? Let's see what the slide is. Oh, it's uh, me and Kidman from the first game. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was 
all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. <laughs> I don't even know you, do I? <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. Oh, thanks, Kitty. Thanks, Kitty. <laughs> Damn right. Did he actually say that before? I can't remember. <laughs> Gotta watch him meow. Right meow. Okay. Well, let's do some crafting then. I need some bullets for sure. And I got, uh... Got some new weapon parts too, so... That's right, I can make freeze bolts now. And explosive bolts. Cost me a little gunpowder, but they're worth it. For those... Dastardly bosses. I guess I'll just do handgun bullets again. I know I won't have enough. But, uh... As much ammo as I can take, I guess. 195, okay. And I got this new part. Oh, uh, just short of firepower for that one. So let's see now. I guess I should upgrade the sniper rifle. Everything else is level two, right? Might be better off with the harpoon bolts, actually, because I could always make those. There we go. Can we do anything with 75? Probably, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, I forgot about the freeze bolts. Shoot. Okay. Well, uh... I doubt I'll be able to do... Yeah, I don't have the part anymore, so let's do let's see what I can upgrade on the sniper rifle. Probably nothing, huh? Dang, I'm missing a lot of those upgrade part the advanced upgrade parts. I think. And I think I'll switch off this silencer now. It it'll probably work better than uh than when I was using it against the rock zombies. But if I use it on regular zombies, it probably works pretty good. Relax, detective. How may I assist you? Well, let's see. Do you... can you talk? Yeah. You're back. New knowledge requires new abilities for the challenges ahead. If you knew something I didn't, you could have just told me and saved me the headache. If only I could. But this is a journey you must take alone. But I'm not alone. I found others to help me. Taurus, Hoffman, O'Neill. They are there to accompany you. But the discovery is yours alone to make. Discovery. And self-discovery. That's what makes STEM so... intriguing. Whatever you say. Don't you think it's time... Do I have a key? No, I don't. <laughs> Can I pick you up? No! Alright. 
Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Forgot about the the green gel upgrades. God dang it. <laughs> Not gotta sit through this animation again. You look like you could use some help, Detective. Jabbing these needles into my brain all the time probably isn't a good thing. Damn, 7,500 still. 7,000, damn it. Just short on a lot of the stuff I want to upgrade. 12,000. I don't know if I should use that red gel on that. Ah, dang it. I couldn't even upgrade Steady Hands if I wanted to. I'm probably better off just s storing up some points here. So we'll do that instead. I also got this shooting gallery over here, but I don't think I'll do that on camera, just so you guys don't have to sit through that. Because it's just a shooting gallery, it's not, you know... Not moving the story along or anything like that. Unless you want to see that, and I'll, I'll gladly record it for you guys. Go ahead and leave a comment if you want me to or not. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Let's head on back. It's a nurse. It's funny. It's that earlier she was like, you need to get out of your shell. Now that I'm getting out of my shell a little bit with uh, some new partners, now she's like, you have to discover it as everything on your own. So it's like a bunch of double talk. Okay, I don't need that, so we'll just leave you there, I guess. That's right. Uh, gotta go back to the marrow, so here we go. Hold on a second. making sure I've got all my files in order here. Alright, well, I think we're done here. Alright. Let's hope the marrow is yeah, still really. there. I'm sure he's, uh... He's infected that down there as well. Okay. facilities. Nature preserve. Yeah, okay, this is the exit that I passed by earlier. Uh, okay, this looks like a new place. Oh, hello, what's this? Condenser. This portable condenser unit is used on in labs to cool gases and condense them into liquids. Oh, so that's probably what I use the, uh, what I use to craft more freeze bolts or something. Damn it! Never anything in those. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see what happens here. I think I got everything. Don't see anything else. Oh, that's the door. I was like, what's that sound? Oh, hello, a resonance. Nothing being said, so just it's probably just a body or something with the syringe on it. Okay, so I haven't been there yet. Dead end. Nails, nice. Uh Oh, here we go. Oh, it's another one of these switch puzzles. Okay. Let's see. You do one. You do six. One. And two. 
Oh, I just gotta flip them all up. <laughs> that was easy. Oh god, yep, he's been here. <laughs> great. Just great. Never a good thing to see candles. <laughs>